hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to start our new aws service that is aws lambda aws lambda is one of the important services from a data engineering perspective and a devops engineer perspective also in the organization generally you will see people are using aws lambda function to solve day-to-day -day activity problem to monitor the cost and there are so many use cases you will find there the people are using aws lambda so we will try to discuss everything first we will try to understand about the aws lambda we will try to understand about the few use cases we will try to understand about the benefits and we will try to discuss about the interview question also so let us start with that what is aws lambda aws lambda is a serverless computation engine so let us first try to understand when actually we required a server suppose you have an application or suppose you have one website to run your website or application we need a server so in AWS space generally we try to create one EC2 instance so EC2 is a one of the computation service which actually provide us a server so with the help of the EC2 we try to create a Windows machine Linux machine based on our requirement we try to create and we try to provide uh, what is the RAM actually is required what is the CPU core is required to run the application code and auto scaling everything we only try to manage so we try to create a server with the help of the ec2 and everything we only try to manage and in this case whenever your ec2 instance is running you have to pay amount for that that is the case in the case of the ec2 now with the help of the serverless now let's try to discuss about the serverless so aws lambda is a serverless computation engine so what aws lambda is saying like you don't need to worry about any server we only will take care about all the servers things you only try to focus on your code you try to run your code with the help of the aws lambda function and whenever you will execute then only you have to amount for that means suppose you have written one your code and that code is running only for the five minutes so only for the five minutes you have to pay amount for that so that is the advantage of the aws lambda it is a serverless computation engine you don't need to worry about any server you don't need to worry about the auto scaling parts and all everything aws only will manage okay so that is the advantage of the aws lambda i hope you got overall idea we can trigger aws lambda from over 200 AWS services. Now let's try to discuss about the few use cases and we'll try to understand more about it. Few use cases, it's like cost optimization. So generally in a real time, we try to use AWS Lambda for the cost optimization. For taking example, suppose we have a 20 AWS services we are using. We are using a different kind of the AWS services. So what actually we can do with the help of the AWS Lambda, we can write one code and we can create one notification what are the services which are which is running and how much cost is coming and who are actually using uh, that services if any services which no one is using and even though it is running in our AWS services and costing it so we can trigger a notification and we can point out to the respective person like this particular AWS service is running but no one is using and it is costing this much amount so for the cost optimization perspective we can write one code with the help of the aws lambda and we can trigger a notification for that so this is one of the use cases of the aws lambda the second use case is like from a data engineer pipeline application suppose few application and few pipeline which was created by any engineer and which is running and which is costing such amount but no one is using uh, that data pipeline even though it is a failing no one is taking any action okay to monitor the data pipeline activity we can use the aws lambda we can also use in such scenario like suppose you have one of the etl activity for that you are using aws glue now if you want to trigger this aws glue you can write one lambda function with the help of the lambda function we can trigger the aws glue that example suppose in a s3 storage if the new data is coming if the new data is coming so you can write any uh, code for that if the new data is coming you can trigger a notification for that so this kind of the thing based on our use cases we can write any kind of the code and with the help of the aws lambda we can trigger a notification for that in the kind of the failure scenario also 
we can write a AWS Lambda function. If any failure is happening in AWS data pipeline, we will trigger an event for that and uh, we'll get a notification for that. So this kind of the different use cases which actually comes and there actually we use a AWS Lambda. Third is the AWS file transfers. So for taking example, suppose we have one of the application. So if any client or if any user who is uploading an image, so that image is getting stored into S3 storage. So whenever image is getting uploaded into the S3 storage, we will write one AWS Lambda like the image has been uploaded. Okay. And after that, what actually it will do? It will try to resize this particular file and it will try to store into another S3 bucket and it will try to show into the website. So this is one of the use cases which I discuss. Suppose you have one of the website which actually it is resizing your photos. So whenever any client is uploading a photo, it will get stored into the S3 storage. So what we will do whenever any image is getting stored into the S3 storage, we will try to trigger one AWS Lambda function. And uh, what actually it will do, it will try to resize the photo and it will try to store into another S3 bucket and it will try to show into the our website. Okay, so different use cases are there where actually we try to use a AWS Lambda function. Okay. Now let's talk from a benefits perspective. No need to manage any server. The second is the auto scaling. Pay as you go means if whenever you will use then only you have to pay amount. If you are using only for five minutes, you only have to pay for that. Even though you have created a Lambda function. Okay. Even though you have a Lambda function, but it is running only for the two minutes. Then you, you only pay for only two minutes. You don't need to pay for the whole day. But in the case of the EC2 server, we even though it is running only for the five minutes and all, because it is running continuously, we have to pay amount for that. So that is the thing we have to remember. And the performance optimization. For the performance optimization, we try to run a different code and we try to create a different notification and we try to optimize uh, a performance of our AWS services. Okay, now let's try to discuss from an interview question perspective. So the first is the difference between the EC2 and the Lambda. So we discuss right EC2 is a server computation engine. We try to create a server and we only try to manage all the servers. In the case of the Lambda, it is a serverless computation engine. We don't need to worry about the server. Everything managed by the AWS. We only try to focus on our code and we try to run with the help of the AWS Lambda. Okay. Now, what is a serverless? That kind of the question also comes. So serverless is like in, in the case of the serverless, we require a server, but we don't manage a server. We don't know about anything about the server. The cloud provider only try to manage a server for us. For taking example, we have AWS Lambda, we have Azure function, and these are the example of the serverless. So in the next video, we'll try to do a practical and we'll try to understand more about it. Yeah, that's it in this video. I hope you got it.